Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about object methods in C Sharp. And an object method is basically just a method that we can define inside of our class that the objects of that class can use to either like find out information or modify information about themselves. And object methods can be very useful. So I'm going to show you guys um, just a, a little demonstration of how to use them in this tutorial. What I've actually done is I've created another class in my program. So I created this student class over here. And this student class is pretty simple. I just defined three attributes that are going to be part of my student class. So every student is going to have a name, a major, and a GPA. And then down here I have a constructor. So I'm just sort of passing in the name, the major, and the GPA, and I'm assigning them down here. So this is a very simple class, um, a lot like the class we created in the last tutorial with constructors. So now that I have this student class, I went over to my program and I actually created a couple students. So I have these variables, student one and student two, and then I created these student objects. So one is, his name is Jim, he's a business major and he has a 2.8 GPA. And then we have Pam, she's an art major and she has a 3.6 GPA. So these are two objects that I've created from that student class. And I wanna show you guys how we can put a method inside of that student class that these student objects can use to find out some information. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to figure out whether or not each of these students is on the honor roll, right? So let's say that we're you know modeling students for a college or university and the rules at that college are that if you have a GPA of 3.5 or greater, then you have honors. So you're on the honor roll. I want to be able to find out whether or not Pam and Jim are on the honor roll really easily. So one way I can do that is by creating an object method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my class and down below this constructor, I'm going to create a method. So I'm actually going to create a method that is going to tell us whether or not the student has honors. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to say public and I'm going to say bool because we're going to return a boolean value. Essentially this method is going to return a true if the student has honors or it's going to return false if the student doesn't have honors. So now I'm just going to call this has honors and I'm going to make an open and closed parentheses and an open and closed curly bracket. So inside of here, we can start writing out the code to tell if a student has honors. Now remember, what I said before was if a student has a GPA of 3.5 or above, that means they're on the honor roll. So what I can do is I can just use a simple if statement and I can just say if, and I'll come down here and I'll just say if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5, then I'm gonna come over here and I'm basically going to return true. So I'm just going to return true. And if that's not the case, then I'll come down here and we'll just return false. So in the case that the GPA is greater than 3.5, we'll hit this line of code, which is telling us to return true and we'll exit the method. And if this is false, so if the GPA isn't greater than 3.5, then we'll come down here and return false. So this is obviously a very simple method, but it's gonna come in handy with our objects. So I'm gonna head back over here and basically what I can do now is I can figure out whether student one or student two is on the honor roll. So I could come down here and I can just print this out. So I'll say console write line. And what I want to do is I want to print out whether or not each of these students has honors. So I'm actually going to copy this and I'll come over here and I'll say student one dot has honors. And then we can also say student two dot has honors. All right, so I'm printing out if whether or not student one has honors and I'm printing out whether or not student two has honors. Now, what should happen is student one dot has honors should return false because Jim has a 2.8 GPA. Jim's not that smart. And this line down here, student two dot has honors should return true because Pam has a 3.6. Pam's pretty smart. So let's go ahead and run our program and we'll see what happens. So you'll see over here, we got exactly what we thought we would. We got false and true. Now, one of the cool things about the method that we wrote over here in this student class is that this method is actually going to use different information depending on what object is calling it. So when the gym object calls it, when student one calls it, it's going to use Jim's GPA. 
So when Jim calls this method, it's gonna use Jim's GPA of a 2.8. When Pam calls this method, when that Pam object calls it, it's gonna use Pam's GPA of 3.6. So we can specify one method here. We only need to write it one time and the different objects will be able to use it and they'll be able to use it with their own information. So Jim calls this method and uses his GPA. Pam calls this method and uses her GPA. And that's why these methods can be so powerful because we can define one method and then different objects can use it and they can get different information back depending on the value of their attributes. Another cool thing about this method is if I ever wanted to change the qualification for honors, so let's say that I wanted to change honors from being 3.5 to being 2.5. So now I'm saying any student who has a 2.5 or above can have honors. Well now, I only had to change the code right here. And when I run this program again, now they're both gonna have honors. So that value is gonna be automatically updated for both of these objects just by changing it in that one spot. And that's what's so powerful about these methods is they basically allow me to define different rules for my objects. So like I can define what it means to have honors in my program and I could change it around if I want and it's not really gonna matter because the objects are just calling this method and it's telling them whether or not they have honors. So that's why this is useful. And in the next couple of videos, we're gonna be looking at some other ways that we can use some methods just like this. But basically all you need to know is that you can make as many of these as you want, right? So I can make a method over here that tells me whether or not, uh, you know, a specific rule so that I could, it could tell me whether or not the students have honors. I could also make a method that would modify one of these values. So nothing is stopping me from coming in here and saying GPA is equal to 90.4, right? I could modify each of these students' GPAs if I wanted to. I mean, you can basically do anything you would do in a normal method. So play around with these. Um, you know, I'm sure you can think of a couple different, uh, you know, methods that you could create inside of your classes. They can be really awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.